welcome to my channel and thank you for taking the time to watch this video. I would also like to welcome Spirit into this reading and say thank you for the messages we are about to receive. This is a general reading. Okay, so uh, you're in a situation where somebody's flattering you. So there might be somebody that you're very attracted to because they say really nice things. You've got uh, Venus sitting in Gemini over here. So this person's a bit of a smooth talker. So there's some flattery going on over there. Maybe some flirtation as well. You've got uh, the card of indecision. So you're make, trying to make some kind of uh, uh, decision and there's some kind of time limit involved. You've got the hourglass over here. It might even be about travel or business, uh, but it could even be about relationships because of that Venus sitting in Libra um, and you're stressing out about making this decision as well. You've got the submission card above it so you've got um, Venus sitting in Pisces over there uh, you know you're feeling a bit trapped you've got this bird in the cage over there and you're trying to break free from a difficult situation come out of it uh, maybe you've been in a difficult um, love relationship and you're trying to emerge from it. The cage door is open uh, don't let your thoughts trap you in that particular situation. In the past, you've got the eccentricity card over there and you've got the originality card. So a lot of good ideas coming to you. It might seem a bit strange to people that you're coming up with these new ideas, but they're really brilliant ideas. You've been thinking outside the box. You've got Mercury sitting in um, Aquarius and this usually is about uh, seeing the broader picture, about being very humanitarian in the things you're doing and having some really, really interesting ideas. And uh, the eccentricity card is maybe how people are seeing you as a bit um, eccentric, especially on the work front since you've got Saturn over there. They might be, you know, putting out a bit of um, restriction on you. Uh, maybe, you know, they um, people are not ready for the new, but you've got some really brand new ideas and some really good ideas. And they're very different from what everybody else has been saying. So really, uh, you know, your ideas are not mainstream at all. Now, going into the future, you've got the seduction card. So it looks like this flattery might end up being in some kind, you know, you might end up being in a relationship with the seduction card over here. Uh, Jupiter sitting in Pisces over there. So that's expansion, a lot of emotion going into it. And it could end up being a love relationship that you are dealing with. You've got the devotion and could end up being, a, you know, this person could be quite devoted to you. Uh, it looks like you're putting an end to the past relationship and looking into the future over here. You might be, like I said, you might be feeling a little restricted with that Saturn sitting in Libra over here. Um, so, um, you know, you want uh, your justice for the previous hurts that you went through as well with that Libra. Uh, but Saturn, it tends to restrict um, you know, it, te it tends to be a teacher of lessons. You've learned a lot of lessons from past relationships uh, and maybe now, uh, you know, you're applying it to your life. So it looks like there might be a relationship that's on the cards for you over here coming in, starting off with a bit of flattery and flirtation and ending in, in something that's very love. Uh, it could be, it could end up into in a very physical relationship with the seduction card over there uh, and maybe a de very devoted relationship coming out of that situation. So those are the energies for that particular week. So I'm going to be uh, using the TV series tarot. And this is a tarot. I've put it in, in the description box. And it deals with all the old TV shows that you have maybe seen before. It's very popular TV shows. It's a lovely deck to work with and I've really enjoyed using it. So let's see. Okay, at the bottom of the deck, you've got that five of swords over there. So uh, it looks like you dealt with a very, very difficult situation. Maybe the person that you were dealing with, it was a legal battle that was fought. Uh, you can see this plane has crashed here. So, you know, that's how you feel your life is in, in ruins at the moment. And maybe they won uh, that situation. Um, there was a legal battle that was fought and it seems like maybe they were victorious in it. Uh, you Maybe you feel your life is in a little bit of tatters right now and you feel very betrayed uh, by what happened. Maybe you just left everything everything behind and you've you've left the situation completely because of all the betrayal lies and problems that went through it and you know even that legal situation it seems like you know you weren't able to win it and it looks like you've just left it so you know you're feeling like you're in a bit of disaster as far as your uh, your life goes at the moment 
but what is happening with you? Uh, you've got that five of rods, so you are dealing with a very difficult person or difficult people really around you. There's a lot of competition going on. This could be, you know, in your personal life, but this could also be on the work front because you've got that nine of pentacles. So you want your financial independence and you're working towards it. Whatever jo job you're doing, you are, you know, it's bringing in the money, but you're dealing with a lot of difficult energies and a lot of competition going on over there. There might be a lot of arguments going on over here, uh, you know, petty, petty fights going on. You're very stressed out in the last year. You haven't been sleeping very well, insomnia coming in, thinking about that situation that happened. So maybe there was that legal situation because there's a lot of swords over there. And, you know, you were very, very worried about what, it, what had been going on with it. Um, you've got that ace of uh, swords here. So you've started a brand new beginning, a new insight, a new idea about, you know, how you want to live your life. Um, it looks like, um, you know, you know, this card with the five of swords could be read as you being the person that walked away. On the other hand, it could be that, you know, maybe with this ace of swords, you know, at the bottom, maybe there was that legal situation. Maybe you were the one that was victorious within that legal situation. The ace of swords is about victory within uh, legal matters. Uh, but this, this, this is also a card about cutting out that past. And, you know, there's been a lot of conflict that you've been dealing with and you winning in that conflict. So this could be you actually being victorious in that situation uh, there was a lot of lies and betrayal in it but it looks like maybe you were victorious within that situation and you are the one um, you know that won that particular legal issue so you were dealing with some kind of situation where there was a battle and this could be that you were the winner now financially you are feeling very skint it's almost like as, it's almost as though you've been paralyzed uh, financially by whatever this battle was that you went through, whatever this legal issue was, because you've got that four of pentacles over here. So you're watching your finances very carefully and you're pretty worried about it at the moment. Now, going to the future, you've got the Ten of Cups, so the end of very, very difficult situations. You can see there's a lot of lightning. There's almost a tower within this particular card over here. So you've come through some kind of tower moment, uh, you know, a kind of crisis in your life and in your family, personal life. Uh, there's been a lot of drama that has been going on. But this is the end of that difficult situation because it's the Ten of Cups, and that is the end of that difficult cycle. So whatever that decision is, it might well have been that you won that situation, but there was a lot of drama that you had to face, and now you're starting to recover from it. You've got the Hierophant card over here, which is about you. So you've learned a lot of lessons, and you know um, this is also a card about taking some advice. So you might need some um, professional advice, maybe in the form of legal advice or even financial advice. And you need to do some research as well with regards to your finances as well as maybe legal matters as well. So you've got the uh, King of Cups over here. You might, uh, you know, the King of Cups uh, talks about, uh, in this card, it's about, you know, being victorious in the situation, having enough finances and being on top of everything here. Uh, you know, driving that nice car, getting the, t to, you know, winning uh, and being very happy about it. This could also be with the King of Cups, you know, needing to get some kind of medical advice as well uh, because, you know, you're not feeling so um, well. Maybe all the stress and anxiety that you've been through with all these cards, there's a lot of chaos, there's a lot of conflict, and this might have been having a knock-on effect on your health. So if you do need medical attention or, or, you know, if you're worried, you do need to get some kind of counseling or you need to get some kind of medical intervention as well if you need it. So don't be scared uh, to, uh, you know, if there's any aches and pains or any problems, uh, you know, seek some medical advice. Now, what you want is to actually leave that situation behind. So there was a lot of lies and deception, which is even showing up, uh, you know, within this uh, five of swords over here. But it seems like you've taken your ideas or whatever it is that uh, you needed to, and you walked away from that situation. You're very scared that it's going to come back again. You're scared that this person is going to give you more trouble, but it looks like you are, you have moved out of that situation or you're planning to move out of that situation uh, and, you know, you're, uh, you're leaving it. You're ending it. So going into the future, you've got that Knight of Swords over there. Uh, you've got the uh, Knight of Pentacles over here and the Six of Pentacles. The Knight of Swords is that legal decision coming in. You know, it comes in pretty quickly. But also with the Knight of Swords, it's, you know, um, uh, getting on top of things as well. Um, Maybe that person that you were dealing with caused a lot of problems. It could have been a fire, um, an air sign person that you were dealing with. So it could be Libra, Aquarius, or a Gemini person. Maybe there's somebody that stirs up a lot of problems. They were very aggressive, and you had to deal with this particular person. And maybe this is why everything turned into a legal battle. 
and maybe they're still upset uh, that they didn't win in that particular situation and they're still causing a lot of problems for you. Uh, you've got the Knight of Pentacles coming in after that, so it looks like you know, you're going to be focused on your work. There's this offer, this job offer, or this job that you're doing, and that is where your focus is on money because you are pretty worried about money as well. So it looks like you're going to be spending a lot of time focusing on your career. And it looks like there's an offer coming in over here, and there's a there's money, new money coming in. So this is a promotion or this could be a new job that you're taking. Uh, since you're focusing on that pentacle, it looks like it's that current job that you are in and there's a promotion coming in. There's a great offer coming in and there's a payoff. So they're making a decision. They're weighing, uh, you know, assessing you at this particular moment and they're assessing you for this new uh, position. So it looks like there's something going on behind the scenes over there but it's going to be positive a positive outcome and more money coming in and with that 10 of cups over there the end of a very very difficult situation and starting off with a you know brand new start over there you are uh, in a situation where there's a lot of competition over there uh, but it looks like since it's crossing this uh in nine of pentacles, it looks like, you know, you, the job is yours and it looks like you'll get that financial independence and have a lot of recognition uh, and a lot more money coming in as well. So you'll be quite comfortable. And make sure that you are seeking some uh, legal advice or some professional advice uh, to get you through problems that you're going through. So I'm just going to draw some cards from the uh, Angel Tarot and that's for the Oracle Read. So you've got the seven of earth, which is uh, seeds well planted, a temporary pause in action, unnecessary worry. So you are waiting for a payoff of sorts with the, the seven of earth. It's the seven of pentacles waiting uh, for money to come in. Um, it looks like, you know, things are a bit stuck at the moment. So uh, you, you're worrying unnecessary. It looks like once this, uh, you know, maybe this is a, a pause so that you can get, uh, you know, gather your thoughts and come up with new plans, make, uh, you know, um, uh, new plans for the future really uh, but it looks like they, that money is going to be coming in if that's what you're waiting for the king of water says open your heart and mind uh, to those around you trustworthy and heartfelt uh, advice so somebody there and that's the king of uh, cups there again appearing so somebody giving you some good advice as well uh, and you know like I said if you have any medical problems make you make sure you seek some advice um, and if you need some kind of support emotional support this person is around you this king of water it could be a father figure giving you that advice and support that you need to get through this difficult situation you've got the three of water as the final card which says a celebration a wedding a graduation a birth announcement a need to have more fun so with this three of water it's a celebration so it looks like everything that you've wanted is coming into your arena soon you just need to relax you are waiting for it but it will come in with that three of water which is that celebration coming in for you the end of a difficult situation and it looks like you're going to get that job that you want and it's going to have bring in a lot more money and you're going to be in a better emotional state after this as well so i think things are starting to turn for you you're getting over these difficulties and uh, you know it looks like uh, you're going to emerge quite victorious as well uh, and you know sorting out your emotional life as well so celebrating things maybe even getting together with friends as well uh coming up on the cards for you so I hope that this reading has resonated and please don't forget to like, share, subscribe, leave me some comments if it hasn't. Thank you so much for watching. Take care now. Good